and welcome to our home in Australia. Like everyone at the moment, we're homebound. So today we're gonna to look at our favorite beaches that we went to in Europe. Now, this list did start out at six beaches. By the end of me going through footage, it ended up at eight. So here are our favorite eight beaches that we went to in Europe. I'm Melody and this is Michael. We are both Australian teachers who have taken a year off our jobs to travel. Our goal is to see more than 30 countries in 12 months. So subscribe and let's get going. Let's start out. Number eight, Cala Coticcio, La Maddalena. It was a beautiful 30 minute walk down to this cove, seeing some mountain goats on the way. I was straight into that 14 degree water when we got to the bottom. Michael was standing at the shoreline in his jeans. This is definitely a place that we'd love to come back to in the summertime. It was a beautiful beach. I can see it being quite popular at a different time of year, but unfortunately the day that we were there, it was quite cloudy and quite cold. <laughs> Number seven is Prusa in Santorini. Santorini beaches are probably some of the more unique beaches that you'll see in Europe, and this is due to the black pebbles on the beach. I will say it does get incredibly hot during the middle of the day, so I would recommend going down to the beach in the morning or in the late afternoon. It's much more enjoyable to lie on the pebbles. Number six was Shipwreck Beach in Zakynthos. Even though you're on this beach with thousands of people at a time, there are so many boats there dropping people off, picking people up, it is still worth it somehow. It's beautiful, you get there and it's these huge white pebbles and you can go explore the shipwreck, they have no tape on it, you can just climb over it as much as you want. Then there's a swimming area to the left hand side, you go swimming around there, there's this huge cave that you can swim into and it's beautiful, the water is so clear and like I said, even though you're there with thousands of tourists, I'd still highly rate this beach. I'm gonna put two together now, so number four and five, Favolo and Stavros Beach in Scopolis. There are many incredible beaches on Scopolis Island. This is the island that they filmed Mamma Mia on, but the two beaches that I'm gonna talk about today aren't actually in the movie. Favolo was a hidden beach that is only accessible on certain tides. You climb over the rocks and around the cliffs to reach this gorgeous little cove. It's actually quite long when you get there, so even though you might be down there with quite a few people, you don't really feel like you're on top of each other and it feels quite secluded. Our second beach is Staphylos. I think the reason that we liked it so much is because we got there really early one morning before having to drop off the hire car and we had the entire beach to ourselves for about an hour and a half. So I think that's what make, made it so magical. We were there as the sun was rising, there was a super yacht and a catamaran to look at. Really, really pretty beaches, Havolo and Staphylos Beach on Scopolis. Okay, another double whammy. Number two and number three are both on Mallorca. So Cala Vacas and Cala Lombard were our two favorite beaches. You get to this beach, you can swim out or pretty much walk out and then you get to a ledge and there's a ladder and you climb up and you can jump off. When you jump off, there's heaps of decent sized fish there to swim around with. And yeah, we really enjoyed, I guess, the sea life. And I think I mentioned that in last week's video as well. It was nice to see some decent sized fish swimming around with us. The second is Color Vacas. It's definitely worth a 30 minute walk. We walked from where we parked our car. It's about 20 minutes and then you get to this gate that says prohibited. There's quite a big gap, you just climb under it. And then from there, it's another 10 minute walk until you actually hit the beach. We were actually really disappointed. We forgot to film it and by forgot, we forgot to actually press the button on the GoPro. So that when you swim out, you don't have to swim out very far, but when you put the snorkel mask on, there's this huge ledge and it looks really, really cool. So there were people jumping off and it looks quite shallow, but it fully drops off where they jump off this cliff. But unfortunately we have no footage of it because we forgot to press the button. So those two beaches, again, Cala Vaquez and Cala Lombard, they are both on Mallorca and they're number two and three. Now, down to our number one is Praia Dona Ana, which is in Lagos, Portugal. 
The beach was quite big, so it definitely didn't feel too crowded when we were down there. The water is freezing, but it's beautiful for, to go for a swim. There's Michael going to feel the water temperature. Blue boardies. Let's see how it goes. Oh, he's got two toes in. Oh, getting the ankles in. And back he comes. That causes my feet pain. That's that's what we're talking about. Cold? Oh yeah, like my feet didn't walk anymore because they were so cold. Oh, so like excruciating pain. Yeah, it wasn't enjoyable. Well, it was, but it wasn't. I, it's a very confusing experience. I don't know why. There's a bunch of Germans in there. Oh, for them it's warm. Warm for Germany? Yeah. We were also there sunbathing and we saw quite a few people walking over these rocks so we thought we'd go check it out. When you walk over these rocks you kind of go over them and then you go under them and it, there's another little cove just around the corner. So definitely go check that out if you are at Praia Dona Ana. Of course there are so many beautiful beaches in Lagos, Portugal and Portugal in general. This one was just our favourite of the trip. That was our 8 favourite beaches in Europe. Comment below if you have different favourites to us. We might be able to check them out next time we are there. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more of our travel videos, please subscribe. See you next week.